There's a lot of running in the game, as I've mentioned before. This bird must be glued. So the winding mechanism will be on the other side of the train, so we'll just move over. Uh, maybe have a short chat to Oscar, see if there's anything we can tell him. Everything okay? Yes, Kate Walker. I am waiting to continue our journey. So am I. Um... This guy Hans. It's simple, but he's obviously a genius. And then there are the mammoths. Funny guy, don't you reckon? I'll have you know Hans Vorlberg is my creator, Kate Walker. Well, he is. Um, bum, bum. Oscar, get ready. I'm going to start winding up the clockwork engine. Good, Kate Walker. Then we can carry on our journey. <laughs> An engineer prides himself on punctuality. I know, Oscar, I know. Let's go do I'm that. I'm off, Oscar. See you later. Yes, Kate Walker. This way. There we are. Uh, so first it was the winding and then the handle. Another phone call. Hello? Where are you? <laughs> Hi, Dan. I'm in Barakstadt. Barak what? Is that a town? I hope the man you're looking for lives there. Are you coming home soon? From what I gather, it's one huge university with an extraordinary station aviary. If you could only see it, there are trees and birds everywhere. It's so weird here. Sounds like a great place for a bit of sightseeing. So, are you coming back soon? I don't think so. In fact, the train I'm traveling on has some kind of a mechanical problem. We've been forced to stop here. Us? I thought you were alone. Who's with you? Oscar, the train engineer. You're messing around with mechanics now, are you? Don't be so stupid, Dan, please. Oscar is an automaton created by Mr. Varlberg, the man I'm looking for. And he's not any old robot. He's a sophisticated butler type, if you see what I mean. He's a bit obsessive as well. Kate, I don't know what they're feeding you in Europe, but don't you think it's time that you came home? But my mission still isn't finished. To hell with your mission. I don't know why you accepted it in the first place. If you just stuck to the middle of the road, then we wouldn't be in this mess. We? If there's any mess, it's me who's in it. And while I'm trying to come to grips with strange towns, you, my darling, are sitting at home on your butt. I seem to remember we had nothing against my departure. It was only going to be two or three days, Kate. Please, try to put yourself in my shoes. Your shoes? Not only do I have to fit myself into your diary, but I've got to get myself into your shoes as well? Is there anywhere else Sir would like me to put myself while we're on this subject? Look, I don't want to talk about it now. Call me back when you calm down. I was perfectly calm before I picked up your call. I only wanted a few words of encouragement, not your disdain. Is that too much to ask? You can be such a selfish... Takes one to know one, sweetheart. That's some good old misogyny. It's never really made clear, I think, from the, from the phone calls that you get, that they're actually a good couple at all. Like, I, I never got the feeling that they liked each other. 
so the thing blowing up just make it make me feel a bit meh about the thing, the whole relationship not going well as well. I think they had a, a semi nice conversation in the beginning, but hmm. everything okay? Yes, Kate Walker. I am waiting to continue our journey. It's also a bit passive aggressive. Uh, both her and him. It's not not uh, not just her boyfriend. They just both don't really seem to like each other. <laughs> let's get uh Let's move on, shall we? That's it, Oscar. We can go. Kate Walker, I must remind you of one of the journey regulations. Oh. All objects featured in the train's inventory must be replaced before departure. I don't understand. I do. Something is missing, Kate Walker. Oh my God. The mammoth doll. <laughs> Please return it to its allocated position, Kate Walker. Yeah, I forgot about that. I'm off, Oscar. See you later. Yes, Kate Walker. So let's go put the doll back. Even though it's right here in my jacket pocket. Everything okay? Yes, Kate Walker. I am waiting to continue our journey. I hope everything is all right now. The doll is in place, Oscar. And don't worry, I took good care of it. And something else, Kate Walker. What? The voice cylinder. Oh. We do not have the second voice cylinder. How does he know right. about that? There's another cylinder, you say. When you have found it, please place it with the others. At your service, Capitan. So how does he know about that? I'm off, Oscar. See you later. Yes, Kate Walker. Should have seen it in my inventory when I put the mammoth doll down. Right. Let's play it first before we put it away. Hans, I have some very sad news. Our father is dead. He passed away peacefully last Sunday in his sleep. I feel so lonely now. Father had been but a shadow of himself since your departure. I had to take care of everything for him. Housework, factory paperwork, the workforce, clients, everything. And now, today, well, I really don't know who or what I'm fighting for. Times are so hard. And this terrible war is destroying everything. Nobody cares for our automatons anymore. I just think about you returning. And when you do return, I will have turned this factory into a palace worthy of your genius. Please take care of yourself. I love you so much, Anna. So that was presumably uh, voice cylinder she sent him while he was staying at the University of Barockstadt when he was just a young man I think we've got everything now everything okay yes Kate Walker I am waiting to continue our journey finally hopefully Oscar if you tell me one more time something's missing I'll Everything is ready. Take your seat, Kate Walker. We are leaving. I'll... Okay... <laughs> she shares my frustrations. I hope we can get past that wall. like we can. Mm. 
and soon that fly will stop. There's a key on here. I wonder how that works. Well, seems like Hans had a way, uh, had a hand in making this wall, or the gate at least. Oscar here somewhere. Can we talk to him? On the other side of the train. Pretty beautiful. Mm. There doesn't seem to be anything here though. Let's check out that little building, see if he's there. Because we did get the cursor for talking to someone when I hovered over it. What are you doing there, Oscar? It is imperative that we comply with railroad and customs regulations, Kate Walker. Of course. Oscar, don't you think we could drop the trifling details once and for all? We need an exit visa to get beyond the wall, Kate Walker. <sighs> and you wouldn't know where I could get one of them from, would you? There is usually some form of authority stationed at a guard post that is strategically positioned to issue such a visa. All right. I'll go look for that. Okay. See you later, Oscar. Yes, Kate Walker. <laughs> 